In this video, I'm going to go over what I think are the best pants for traveling. Alright, so these guys, these pants, these pants, these pants I think are phenomenal. Um, they're great, they're on the screen, the thing about them, they're, uh, they're good travel, Colombian, I think they're quick silver pants, but uh, yeah, again I'll put it on the screen just to make sure that you guys got the proper name, and I'll put the description in the box below if you guys want to find them on Amazon, they run about 34 to 60 depending on the color, the size, and where you are located. Um, they're great because one, uh, I really like them because I wanted pants that were lightweight, that were durable, that were easy to wash and clean, um, and these just seem to be the ones to, to go with because one, they, they're good for hiking, they're good for um, in the city, they're good for rock climbing, they're good for you know outdoor stuff, indoor stuff, going to bars, going to restaurants, what have you. To take up very little space. I mean, that's the goal that a man is, you know, super small. Um, well, I'll do the little socks around them sometimes when I'm packing stuff like this. That way, they take up less space and they stay compact. Um, yeah, sorry, I have a little bit of the sniffles because I have kind of a flu. If I sound weird, you know, I'm just weird in general, so um, can't get past that. But, um, these are great because they're stop tear resistant and 100% uh, nylon and these little cubes, you can see, hope that focuses, um, that is, that helps prevent, uh, like if you get a cut or a little burn, it helps prevent it from the tear getting bigger and bigger and then you can patch it up and fix it and whatnot, um, so that's great. They are very comfortable, great for you know, riding on planes, hiking, what have you. Um, they come with a little belt, which is nice, it's a little bumpy inside of belt. And it isn't the greatest one in the world, very simple. Um, it's like a half of a webbing cord. Um, and what's nice is there's no metal in the belt, so in some airports you don't have to take it off. Some airports make you tuck your belt either way, but yeah, these things are great. They have four pockets. No, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, it looks like. Yeah. I'm probably missing one. There's six pockets. The two on the back, the Velcro. They have mesh inner lining. And then they have two pockets on the front for your hands. Those are also mesh lining. But then the pockets down here are, um, this is a nylon all the way through, which is nice because if you have something that will break, the, it's, if you have something sharp or rocks or just whatever, something that's um, more likely going to damage, you know, something that's like this, super thin, um, and you know, you don't want it to, to cut through there, then the, this cargo pocket is phenomenal for it. You also have this cargo pocket, which is the same scenario, same material, uh, the stop tear, resistant nylon all the way through. It's got a zipper so you can close off stuff, more of the keys or something you don't, you really don't want to fall out of your pocket. That's a great, good spot for a, a passport. Um, they do convert into shorts, which is nice. So you can unzip them and turn them into shorts. And you can just, you know, swim in them or, you know, if you spill something on the lower part of your pants, you can wash that and then dry it's tied on the back of your backpack. Um, they do dry very quick, so if you do wash them, you know, at night, like say you're, you're finishing up the day, you take a shower, and you wash your clothes, and then you hang them up to dry, they do dry a few hours, depending on your climate, obviously, it can take longer, but they do dry way faster than jeans. Jeans can take, in the sun, a few hours, but in, you know, indoors or in a uh, kind of humid climate, it could take 12 hours, but these guys, they'll dry in two, four, maybe six hours in a super humid, dark environment, but, excuse me, they are totally, totally worth it. Um, hopefully this video helped out some of you guys. If you do want to get a pair of these, you can find a link for them in the description box below, as well as this video will be attached to a playlist for other videos 
the viewing other gear that I use, and then there's a list of all my gear in the description box. Hopefully this was helpful, and um, yeah, you guys just keep on traveling. If you guys got any recommendations for gear you want me to check out or review, just let me know. Otherwise, peace out. Never stop traveling. Thank you.